This is an original iPad. Um, if you go to the App Store to download a new app, it will say it's not compatible. So say you want to download GarageBand or something, but yet I have GarageBand. How? Okay, if you go to the App Store to download an app, it's probably not going to be compatible with these new ones. And it won't give you the option of downloading a compatible version unless you already have it in your iCloud account. So if you have another device, uh, iPhone, iPad, a computer, download the app like GarageBand in my case. And uh, once you download it on a different device, then you can go into uh, purchased right there, purchased apps. And then it shows all the ones that you've purchased. And there's GarageBand. If I were to click here, it wouldn't let me download it. But when I click here, it let me download it. And it took a long time. It took longer clicking on the cloud because it I guess it's downloading from the cloud, so it takes longer. It took all night. But hey, I got the app on my old iPad, so that's awesome. Now I need iMovie. Don't click the app. Click the cloud, and this thing will pop up. Uh, in a few minutes because my internet is slow. All right, what does this say? Do you want to download the last compatible version? And it says this version of iMovie is not compatible with this device. And you put download. And now you wait about six hours, or I don't know how long it took, but I ended up going to sleep, and in the morning, it worked. So, yes, you can get iMovie and GarageBand or whatever other apps you want on your original iPad. Um, just download it from another device first, save it in your iCloud account, and uh, good luck to you guys.